What was your favorite thing that you learned about that? We see right now a trend where the humanities and history is sort of disregarded in the it's face in, of STEM. Uh, in the book I read by Frederick Lane, Venice and Maritime Republic. The humanities have been horribly and abysmally ignored. Everybody believes that it's more important to actually build things, but the humanities are what make us human. So Through Venetian Eyes is a project in which we will help students engage in history in a way that quite simply isn't possible in a textbook. We're going to be introducing students to local DC area institutions like the Library of Congress, the National Archives, and, and we want to really try and, and nail down a system that can be used in schools all over the country. The idea is that real learning happens outside the classroom how open Venice was. The FIA was supportive in linking us with our partner organizations. We received feedback, ideas, guidance, and every time we got out of one of those meetings, we just felt like even more like rejuvenated with enthusiasm for the project. Most places, I mean, most places, if you're living in So in the long the run, run uh, I think that uh, this uh, will provide an environment that uh, would be useful for, for, for to teach uh, in, in, a, in a different way. My favorite part about working on this project was really just seeing how we can make the humanities and make history something that really comes alive for people. They ate, you know, except maybe some biscuits, but the pea soup was really the, the state. Without the humanities, in, in the words of Fareed Zakaria, we lose our soul. So I hope this project can help a student, you know, discover that.